Good, not bad. Good, this is a bit weird staying at home, isn't it? Yeah, but hopefully we can have a bit of fun and, you know, do some things with whoever is behind the screen at this time. Who knows? We can hang out. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So why don't you tell them your name just in case? Yeah, my name's Emily. I'm, I'm Hetty. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got a game for us. Okay. Yeah, it's all warmed up. Right. Get it started. Okay. Okay. And it's all about beans. 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 Can't get many of them at the supermarket at the moment because everybody's got them in the cupboards. I've got three, but that's fine. Okay. So beans, different types. And right. when I say the type of bean, you've got to do the action that goes okay. with it. And they have to do it as well, right? They have to do it. They, okay. You can't just sit there. No. No. And especially you. Yeah. Yeah. You. Okay. So you got the runner bean. Right. So guess what you got to do? Run. Run. Okay. okay. Running on the spot. You've got string bean. Ah. Okay. <laughs> You got jumping bean? Yeah, probably jump. You jump, yeah. Whee! Okay. Then you got Mexican bean, which you goes arriba. Oh, I thought you were gonna do like a Mexican wave or something. No. Arriba! Yes, there we go. Can you do it? One, two, three. Arriba! There we go. Okay, then you've got the French bean, which is ooh la la. Ooh la la. And That's then. All right. My Last... grandma's French, did you know that? No. <laughs> my she my say that though. French. Really? Yeah, you don't say that either. Yeah. And then you got broad bean, which means you have to like go as far as possible. Uh, that was my face. Social distancing. Oh, but, um, it's not going to work very well with this <laughs> small space we've got. Um, I'll go behind you. Social distancing, broad bean goes yeah. as long and yeah. as you possibly can. Can't touch this? No. No, can't. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Running bean, string bean, jumping bean. I hope they're doing it as well. They best do. Mexican bean, arriba. arriba. Oh, French bean. bean, ooh la la. And broad bean, broad bean, French bean, ooh la la. Jumping bean, Mexican bean, arriba. Running bean, string bean. Mm -hmm. Oh, forgot one. Baked beans. Oh, what's a baked bean? <sighs> oh, it's hot. Hot, so you're like proper getting sweat. Right, yeah. okay. Like you've just been a jumping bean for a long time or a running bean for a long time. Makes you a baked bean. Yeah, makes you a baked bean. So, right. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Baked bean. <sighs> French bean. Ooh la la. la. Broad bean. French bean. Ooh la la! Uh, Mexican bean! Arriba! Jumping bean! Running bean! And big bean! Ooh. That's not bad. That's not bad. You warmed up? Yeah. I'm warmed up. Yeah. Out of breath. It's all good. How did they go? How did you get on? Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. Some dad somewhere saying, yep, yeah, I uh, won. Okay, so I've got a story for you. Do you want to hear my story? I am so looking forward to the story. Okay, listen up. In the Bible, we learn about a guy called Peter. His name used to be Simon. I'm going to try and tell some of his story whilst doing a bit of rhyming. Peter saw Jesus do miracles like calming the sea, healing people and setting others free. Peter heard Jesus share his message with people in the towns and on hills, not in a building with a steeple. It came time for Jesus to be with his friends for a final bit of food. It was all going so well, but then Jesus changed the mood. He told them what would happen, that he'd be betrayed and die. And when asked about Jesus, Peter would say, I don't know that guy. He would say it three times before the rooster would crow. Peter said it wouldn't happen. No, no, no. But later that night, Jesus was arrested and guards took him away. And what happened next was just as Jesus did say. Someone asked Peter, wasn't Jesus your friend, like your bro? Peter said he didn't know him. No, no, no. 
after this, another said, you know Jesus, you sound like him, ha! Huh? But Peter said, I don't know him, nah, nah, nah. Later, Peter was asked, did you know Jesus who talked about hope? Peter said he didn't know him. Nope, nope, nope. Then the rooster crowed, cock a doodle doo! Peter stopped and remembered what Jesus said he knew. Jesus died on the cross and was buried in a tomb. But he rose from the grave, it's not all sadness and gloom. Peter heard Jesus was not dead but alive. He told the disciples with a hug and a high five. They were down at the beach fishing but caught nothing in their net when a man from shore shouted, try the other side, don't fret. So they tried the other side and caught loads and loads of fishes. They went back to shore where there was Jesus and their breakfast dishes. Jesus said to Peter, do you love me? Please confess. Peter turned to Jesus and said, yes, yes, yes. Jesus said, do you love me? And gave him a stare. Peter said, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, Jesus said to Peter, do you love me? Please cheer up. You know I love you, Jesus, said Peter. Yup, yup, yup. Jesus told Peter to feed his people, his sheep. Peter said that he would and his promise he did keep. He started the church and miracles happened when he prayed. Peter told all he met about Jesus and in his heart, Jesus stayed. Hey, I'm really cool. And, and where's the story from again? From the Bible. Bible, fabulous. Yeah. So I've got a game for you. Oh, I love a game. Right, and you can play at home if you want to as well, wherever you are, right? You need some sort of bucket or like clean bin clean. or um, basket, something like that. Five pairs of socks each. You've got five. You look like I've, you've got more. I've got five. more than that. Right, you yeah. need five. Okay, I'll put some down. So, get the bucket down. Right. So what's going to happen is we're going to take it in turns throw the socks because you know I don't have loads of stuff here loads of balls and things I've got socks. socks throw the socks into the bucket okay we count how many times we miss okay okay do, that. do you want to go first or second second okay times we score because that's fun it makes people feel good but how did it feel counting all the times you missed i mean it it, it wasn't great i'm not gonna put a lie you know you pointed out my faults i did didn't i yeah well it's kind of similar to what we're talking about today isn't it we all sin and sin is a bit of a funny word 
But sin actually means going against what God asks us to do. And actually, it's really simple what he asks us to do. Now, in the Old Testament, we see the Ten Commandments. Some of them are great, okay? I, who would say that do not murder is a great thing? But some are a little bit more hard. Do not lie. Do actually some of us do that? Yes, we do. And then in the New Testament, when like some people come up to Jesus and said, which is the best commandment? Jesus replies, love God with everything you have and who you are and love your neighbor as you love yourself. In a book in the Bible written by a guy called Paul, he says, in Christ there is no condemnation. Now, condemnation is a massive word, but broken down, it generally just means that we are not counting our sin. Now, the punishment for sin is death, but we know that Jesus died on the cross to take our punishment. But it didn't just finish there. Three days he rose again to show that he is amazing, that he is fantastic, and he is the son of God and has power over death. Now, what we can learn from this is actually we need to love like Jesus loves us. That we don't count the wrong stuff that people do against us. That actually we forgive like he forgave us. That we love them with everything we are and who we are. So instead of counting what they've done wrong, actually encourage them in everything they are doing. So this is Tabs and he's going to lead us in a time of prayer. Yeah, so we're going to do the Lord's Prayer together. You might know it, um, maybe you don't, but if you, if you don't, we're going to learn it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer and when I get to the bit about forgiveness, I'd like you to put your hand on your heart if there's someone that you can think of that you want to forgive or be something that you want to be forgiven for, okay? Right. Yeah. Okay, let's pray then. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for praying with me. I enjoyed that. So we're going to worship God together. Now, we don't have the ability to do a song right now, but we can worship God through other things as well. We don't just worship God through songs, although I really enjoy that. We can worship God through so many different ways. So right now, we're gonna worship God together. And in your family or in your school, wherever you are, whatever you're doing right now, you could get yourself into a circle or into a line, and this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna worship God by telling him how awesome he is. Good, good. But we're gonna use the letters of the alphabet. Okay, it's so. I'll start with A and then you'll do B. If there was someone else, they'd do C and D and E, but there's only two of us. Yeah. So we just take it in turns. Okay. And we tell God how awesome he is by using the letters of the alphabet. So we're gonna give you three minutes, but should we do a little practice? I think I think that might be good. Right. So yeah. I'll start. Awesome. Big. Creative. Dangerous. Extremely brilliant. Can I have two words? Yeah, I like okay. it. Fantastic! God. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Yeah. Happy! Incredible. That works. Yeah. Brilliant. So, you've got three minutes. Are you ready? You're going to worship God with the letters of the alphabet. Three, two, one, go. We've had so much fun with you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I've had fun. I've had fun as well. It's been great. I've learned so much about Jesus, which is awesome. So tune in again. We're going to be posting more videos to 
help you and your family or your school to get together and learn more, worship God and have a great time. See you soon. See ya.